Okay, uh, board, the board of directors, uh, always an important subject, very powerful institution inside of a corporation. Something important for all entrepreneurs to understand, especially from an entrepreneur who's been fired by his board of directors. <laughs> it, it makes it important when it affects your own employment, which we'll talk about in a second. But essentially, the board of directors, their role is uh, inside of the hierarchy of command of a corporation uh, is pretty important. The hierarchy of command looks like this. Shareholders, they own shares, they own the corporation. They appoint the board of directors. The board of directors really has complete control of the corporation, um, more so than a lot of people think that they do. Everybody thinks the CEO uh, runs the show. The CEO is actually hired uh, or appointed by the board of directors. So all of the officers, president, CEO, CFO, uh, you know, secretary, any of the other company officers are appointed by the board of directors. The officers have the strategic day-to-day -day control of the company, uh, but the board of directors really is the, is the group that sits on top of the officers uh, in terms of governance structure. However, the board does remember and answer to the shareholders. Uh, so the shareholders can always get rid of board members or change the board uh, any way that they see fit. So basically, uh, you know, what does the structure of the board look like and what do they do? Uh, well, first of all, who are they, typically? So uh, boards will often have a, an odd number, uh, that's what this means, there's an odd number of board members. Uh, and that has to do with needing a majority vote, which we'll talk about in a second uh, when we talk about board meetings. Typically the board will be, for an early stage company or a startup around formation, will be either three or five people. If you get more people than that, it becomes somewhat unwieldy to have meetings and uh, unwieldy to get everyone together. So if there's three board members, it's usually the CEO, uh, some sort of outsider, and someone else who the board elects that they think would be uh, strategically advantageous to the company. Uh, the reasoning behind who these people are, the CEO, because the CEO is uh, intimately involved with the ongoing workings of the company, an outside director means someone who usually the shareholders elect uh, that would be an outside balancing voice on the board uh, that would be neutral and not always necessarily aligned with the CEO. And then other, uh, that person can be a strategic uh, person for the company generally. So, you know, let's say you were making pillows, you might convince uh, the CEO of the largest pillow company in America to be on your board because they could help give you advice about how to build pillows. Um, or if you have five, there's the CEO, uh, you can have one or two outsiders, uh, you can have independent directors or others. Uh, generally, there's an investor there if you have uh, five board members. Uh, any investor that comes in will like a board seat as part of the investment. So that's generally who they are. Now, what do they do? Uh, they, you know, the boards really do a lot of things, but the, the, some of the key things that they do are listed here. They hire and fire officers, which is very important. If you think as a CEO or a VP of a company that you uh, only answer to the CEO or, or that the CEO answers to no one, you're wrong. They answer to the board of directors and the board of directors can very easily hire and fire uh, C-level executives. Um, they also look at strategic transactions, and this means you know, any sort of big, important transaction, whether it be buying or selling, uh, buying another company or selling part of the company, or a huge contract or project that um, you know, might keep people awake at night, which would have very material implications for the company. Uh, usually the board is involved in okaying those transactions. And also in issuing securities. Uh, anytime they issue, uh, they authorize more shares, they issue more shares, they issue options, uh, anytime you do a funding round, anytime that securities are created or issued, uh, almost always it requires a board resolution and the board will have to act on that. So uh, just a few other words that you'll hear used commonly when uh, discussing the board or the board of directors. People will talk about the chairman of the board. Uh, that's great. Uh, the chairman is essentially just one of the board, uh, directors who is appointed chairman. Uh, they lead board meetings, uh, which we'll talk about in a separate video. Uh, and then also the board sometimes has committees. This doesn't often happen early in a company's uh, evolution, but they will have something like an audit or a compensation committee, or you're generally the first few that you'll see popping up. An audit committee uh, simply is a, a few of the board members that oversee a potential financial audit of the corporation. And the compensation committee would be a few of the board members that discuss uh, executive or officer level compensation. 